Hey everybody, today we are going to be discussing deep packet inspection and why you should be using it. Um, one of the amazing things about the FortiGate firewalls is that it has a very in-depth security functionality, um, but encrypted traffic severely hampers the ability to scan the content of a packet. So one of the ways to get around that is to do deep packet inspection. And I'm, as you can see on the screen here, we have the uh, Fortinet cookbook for why you should use deep packet inspection. Um, and the basic concept is that you know if, if these packets are encrypted, your web filtering, your application controls, they can't read the encrypted packet. Um, so what we do is we create a session from the client to the FortiGate. We decrypt that traffic. We scan that traffic. We re-encrypt it. And then we send it out to your bank's website or wherever. And what this allows the FortiGate to do is to collect and control and actually adhere your policies to the network traffic. Um, so one of the things that you need to do and, and be mindful of is to make sure to avoid certificate errors, especially if you have a lot of clients on your network. You're going to get a lot of calls saying that, you know, they're trying to go to Google.com and they're getting certificate errors. And one of the ways that you're going to do avoid that is by implementing the FortiGate's certificate into your network. Um, so over here in, uh, in the FortiGate, I'm going to go to Security Profiles, and I'm going to go to SSL, SSH Inspection. I'm going to drop down, and I'm going to select the default deep inspection policy. And there's a, there's a lot of different options here, but we'll just go over some of the, the high-level ones. We want this policy to do full SSL inspection, um, and we are going to use the default Fortinet uh, certificate that came with the device. Now, what you can do is you can implement your own third-party certificate from DigiCert or another third-party validator. Uh, but for now, for this example, we're just going to use the default one. We actually need to download this certificate. Um, so I'm going to save it. We'll save it to our desktop. And we will reference that later. So untrusted SSL certificates, we have this set to block. We're also going to do RPC. Uh, I'm going to keep all the standard uh, secure socket layer protocols on here. What you can do is you can exempt reputable websites based on FortiGuard's web filtering service from deep packet inspection. So if you know that there is a particular category that you think is okay. Um, let's see. Say an education website. If you want to specifically exempt education websites from being scanned, you can do that. You can also select specific addresses. So if you have an address defined in here, um, you know, dropbox.com, Android, Adobe, you can exempt specific addresses and you can log those, uh, uh, those exemptions as well. So part of SSL inspection is we're also going to inspect SSH and we're going to use the standard port 20, uh, 22 on that. I do not want to allow invalid SSL certificates, so we're just going to keep this. I'm not going to allow any exemptions. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and apply the full policy. So we have our default deep packet inspection policy now. What we need to do is go up to our IP, IPv4 policies. <clears throat> so we have a, I created a policy for deep packet inspection, and it has everything except for one wireless signal, one wireless interface um, to the WAN. And right now I don't have any security profiles on it, and I'm only logging UTM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the log status to all. And I am going to enable default deep inspection, actually, in, in conjunction with that. Let's so go into the policy itself. So in conjunction with that, I want to use uh, default. No, I want to monitor all web traffic. I want to monitor all applications, and I'm going to use 
I don't need intrusion prevention on this policy. So we got our default proxy settings. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now, you know, probably about a day from now when I get my report, we are going to be able to see a lot more of the traffic that's coming off of this than we were yesterday. So let me go back to my reports and pull up the most recent report. So what you see is most of this traffic is unscanned and it's unscanned because it's going out encrypted over the over the connection and it can't scan that. So now that we've implemented deep packet inspection, what we should see tomorrow is that there's a lot more data that is scanned and we should be able to get a lot more insight into the activity on our network because of that. Now, from a client perspective, uh, what we need to do to make sure that we're not getting certificate errors is we need to go into our Internet Explorer, go to Internet Options. We downloaded that certificate a little bit earlier. We're going to go to Content. We are going to clear the SSL state. Oops. And then we're going to go to our certificates. And what we want to do is go to the Trusted Root Certificate Authority and import that certificate. We just browse our desktop, select that certificate, and import it. And we're going to put that in a Trusted Root Certificate Authorities folder. Now, I've already placed that in here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep. What you'll see is the certificate right here. Uh, so that's already been done on 530, so I don't need to redo that on my computer. Now, the only thing that, that, that will work for Google Chrome and Internet Explorer. For Firefox, you have to specifically set that certificate for Firefox. And you're also going to need to do that on your mobile devices as well. Uh, but now we should be able to browse out to the internet and go to google.com without getting any certificate errors. So we'll see. Is that that? Uh, it's just a normal website. Yeah. Switch to Chrome. All right. Everybody wants me to use their browser. So we didn't get any certificate errors like we did before. Um, so we're good to go with that. And then, you know, check it tomorrow and see what type of traffic you're getting.